Hey guys, today we are going to practice using the line tool in Google Drawing um, to create our own picture. So as you can see, I have open a blank Google Drawing document. Uh, the first thing that I want to do to create a line is bring my mouse up to over here. So these are the main tools that we're going to be using um, while we're exploring Google Draw. You can see that there's an arrow with a blue, light blue box around it. And then next to that arrow, there is a diagonal line. So it goes from one corner to another corner with two dots at the end. This is the line tool, and this is what we're going to be focusing on today. So when I move my mouse over and I hit the little arrow right next to the line tool, I can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different type of lines that I can create. So I'm going to start with the first one. The first one is just a regular old straight line. So I can click on anywhere in my picture space, so within this box. I'm going to click up at the top and then just drag, so I'm holding my mouse as I'm dragging it down. And that creates a straight line. You can do it horizontally, vertically, or even diagonally. So now I have these three thin black lines. If I want to change the way that those lines look, what I can do is make sure that my arrow is selected so it's blue, so I clicked on that arrow, and then there is now a box, a little blue box, around this line. When I bring my mouse up to this thing that looks like a pencil, and I click on that, a whole box of colors pops up. This is how we can change the color of our line. So I'm going to change this one to purple. And because that line is still so thin, it's kind of hard to see. So I want to make it thicker. That means I'm going to make it bigger. Right next to the pencil, there's three straight lines that say line weight. And when I click on that, I can see a 1, a 2, 3, 4, 8, 12, 16, and 24. As the numbers get bigger, our line is going to get bigger. So if I click on 24, you can see that my line gets really a lot thicker. So now I like the way that that line looks. I'm going to now click back on this arrow button and I'm going to change this line up at the top. So I can see that it's selected because there's a blue box around it. I'm going to change the color first. I'll make this one green. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. The purple line that I just changed was 24 pixels, so it was the widest it could be. I'm going to make this one 12 pixels, which is about half the size. So you can see that it's a little bit thinner. And then there's a couple other things that we can do to this line. Next to where we see those numbers, you can click on those other three lines that we see. And that's line dash. So we can make our line solid. We can make it look like dots. We can make it look like dashes. We can combine dots and dashes. We can make bigger dashes. And we can have bigger dots and dashes. So there's a lot of different options within that one. I'm going to make these green dots. And I'll leave it like that. And then I'm going to also change up this straight line. So first I'm going to change the color. Maybe I'll make this one red. Then I'm going to make it thicker. I like the way that the 12 pixels looks. I'm going to leave it solid, but you can see there's still two more options. So when you click on this straight horizontal line with the red shape on the left side or on the right side, that will add an arrow to one end of your line. So maybe I want to have this funny looking box at one end, and maybe I want to have a triangle at the other. So now it looks kind of like an arrow. So there's lots of different ways that we can change our straight line tools um, in Google Draw. I'm going to go back to my line tool at the top 
and I'm going to hit that arrow again. The next line that we want to explore is an arrow line. So the arrow line is really similar to what we just did over here, except it is always going to have um, an arrow at one end. So now I have that line started at the end. If I want to get rid of it, I can just click on that first one, and then I can change that again, and I can change the thickness, I can make it thinner if I want, I can change the color, the same as how we changed our straight line. This one just always has something at one end. The next type of line is an elbow connector. So I clicked on elbow connector, the one that starts with an E, and now same as how I started a line in all the other ones, I'm going to click anywhere in my picture space, and I'm going to, what is it doing? I don't know what it was just doing there. Okay, I gotta make sure that I got my line selected, elbow connector, and I'm gonna click anywhere in my picture space, and then I'm going to drag that line. And you can see, instead of one straight line, now I have kind of like a staircase where it goes across and then up and then across again, or it goes across and then down and then across again. And I can just kind of make it bigger or smaller, squish it together, and once I release my mouse, um, then it'll fix that size. So I can change the color in the same way that I did before. I can make it thicker or thinner. So I keep going to this orange color. Maybe I need some blue in my picture. I can make it have dots the same as I did with the other one. Maybe I want to add another uh, elbow connector type of line. I think this one is kind of fun. So now I can have it going up instead of sideways. And our lines can all go on top of each other. Maybe I'll make this one. So that one uh, is blue. I'll, maybe I'll make it purple, e pink. And I can make it even thicker. And maybe I'll make it solid. But it will have a circle and a circle at the end. So I can keep playing around with those. After the elbow connector, we have a curved connector. So I'm going to click on curved connector. This one is kind of fun. So, actually, we're going to skip curved connector for right now. We're going to move on to... No, wait. We're going to do curved connector. Yes. Curved connector, once you click... Oops. Click on your line. So we're doing curved connector. You click. And then, kind of like how it had um, in the elbow connector, we have almost an S shape that we can see. And depending on where you move it, it will flip that curvy line around. So same as how I changed the other ones before. I can change the color. I can make it... I keep clicking on that orange. I can change the color. I can make it thicker or thinner. I can make it dotted or dashed. I like this one. Um, and I can add circles or arrows at one end and at the other. We're going to skip over curve and polyline and come back to it in just a minute. Um, and go to scribble. So scribble is kind of just like a drawing tool. So instead of having to do a line, we can draw any sort of shape that we want. Oh, let me just change that color. Okay, so I'm going to click on Scribble, and maybe I'll do it for it. Why is it changing that color? It's being silly. Okay, so click on Scribble, and then in my picture space, I can just draw any sort of shapes that I want. So I am making one long line. And then you can see, once I'm done drawing it, it changed into the color that I had selected. So I can change it to a yellow. I can make it thicker. I can make it all dashes or all dots. 
I can add things at the start and at the end of the line if I wanted to. Okay, so those are all the different ways that we can make different types of lines in Google Drawing. The last two that I want to talk about are curve and polyline because we can use those to actually make different shapes, which I think is pretty cool. So in here, I'm going to change this to black. Nope, I want that one to be yellow. And then I'm going to click back on here. And I'm going to say, okay. oh, I already started working. Didn't even mean to. Okay, so let me click on the polyline, or the curve. And I'm going to click on one place and then drag my line to another spot. And then once I let go, you can see that I have almost like a U shape. And if I click it, then it locks that point in there. And I can loop around and make it really curvy. And if I bring my curve, so each time I like where it stops, I click down to lock it in place. And if I bring my curve back to where I started, you can see that it joined it together in a cool way. And when I click that, it makes a solid shape. And I can change the inside of that shape to any color that I want, and I can change the border or the line that I drew to any color, and I can make it different thicknesses and different dots or lines. The polyline tool works really similar in that instead of doing curves, we're just going to work on making some straight lines. So if I make a straight line across, then I let go, and then I want to bring it over here, and then I want to bring it down here, and then I can bring it up, and then I can bring it down, and then if I bring it all the way back here and connect it, then I have another shape. And these are the same colors right now, so I'm going to change it so that it's a little bit easier to see. There we go. So those are the different tools that we can use to make a drawing out of just lines in Google Drawing. I want you to experiment with a couple different ways of doing that today. Um, and I just want you to make sure that your drawing has at least three of these different types of lines that we talked about.